What up, YouTube Collecting Ends are back, and it is a great day uh, in the baseball card community. It is the very first day that 2021 Topps Baseball Series 1 is available. Um, so I picked up two packs, a uh, rack pack, as people used to call them. Now they are called cellos or value packs. I got two hanger boxes and a blaster box of uh, tops. So as you know, I collect uh, hanger boxes. So this one is gonna go right there, add it to the collection of hanger boxes, and we are gonna go ahead and begin this ball card bonanza. I'm gonna open all these on camera, and we'll start with the individual pack. Um, these have 16 cards per pack um, with Juan Soto as the cover athlete and uh i know that'll make wesker griff happy uh, these are three dollars a pack um now for 16 cards so they've gone up um these are the um odds on the packs um as you can see definitely pretty difficult to pull cards golds are one in 23 which is basically one in every retail box um so We'll go ahead and get started here um, with a security tag. All right, so this is what the design of the card looks like. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already. Um, has the 70 tops up there. Uh, I The design, I like the design. Um, I've heard several people say it. I wish the names were a little bigger, um, but other than that, I think the design looks pretty good. Uh, right off the bat, this centering on this Albert Mora doesn't look terrible. So that's number one. A Julio Urias, Max Kepler, Luke Vaught, Johnny Cueto, David Dahl, Oliver Perez. I can't believe he's still in the bigs. I remember when he started with the uh, when he was with the Pirates way, way back in the day. Um Wade LeBlanc, uh, Slam Diego. Um, so this is a really nice, um, a really nice one to get right there. Um, it's a blue. It's not numbered, but it's blue. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. That's a super nice one. Um, I don't know. I, on the value pack, it says one exclusive royal blue base card per uh or one ba blue base card parallel per pack um so maybe that's what that is as uh says that on the rack pack but it does not say anything about that on here um and i'm just gonna quickly see doesn't say anything that i see on there so Frankie Lindor who is now with the Mets so we'll continue on here Votto Jordan Alvarez second year card that's pretty cool a Nico Horner future stars it's interesting that he's a future star card not Jordan Alvarez David Peterson rookie and Anderson Tata rookie um, I will admit I am not sure who the rookies uh, that people are looking for in this set are um, I really couldn't say. I uh, have not really paid that much attention uh, to that. Um, I've just been waiting for these cards to hit um, the shelves so I could purchase them. Dab them or dab on them. A Juan Soto. Shout out to Wesker Griff oh, there. Uh, Brady Singer rookie. Alex Verdugo. Um, well, I'm going to assume that this is probably one of the rookies to go after. This is a really nice Topps Chrome Casey Mize. Uh, it's not numbered, um, but that is a really, really nice um, Casey Mize Chrome Refractor. Um, I probably should have done a little bit more research. On this, um, if you see it on there, 
let me know. I'm not going to waste time in the video looking for that. But that's probably one of the better rookies to get, I would have to imagine. Another Jordan Alvarez, another Nico Horner, David Peterson, Anderson Tata, and Kiebert Ruiz, another pretty nice rookie there. So that was the two um, regular packs. Um, so we're on to the value pack. These have 40 cards in them this year. So that's a little bit more than usual, but they were also $5.98. So um, we will see. Um, real quick, just in case anyone's interested, uh, these are one, golds are one in 11, rainbows are one in four. So those are the most common, I would imagine. So Edward Oliveris, do get a decent number of rookies in this. Um, Albert Abreu, uh, Tarek Skubal, Charlie Blackman, Sox, Marcelo Zuna, who just recently signed with the, um, back with the Braves, Francisco Mejia, Matt Stasi, Cody Bellinger, J.D. Davis, Roman Quinn, that's another nice one there, Joey Bart, he at one time was, uh, a pretty highly thought of rookie. I remember his uh, Bowman Chrome, first Bowman Chrome when it came out, was uh, definitely a sought after card. Um, don't really know too much now. So, Kevin Biggio is the uh, Royal Blue. So, it does look like that one, Fernando Tatis, is the Royal Blue. So, put that right there. Nolan Arenado, who is now with the Cardinals. Javier Baez. Pete Alonso. Reese Hoskins of the Phillies. You know, actually, when I'm looking, thinking about this, I don't think I've gotten a single Pittsburgh Pirate yet. Um, that rookie is Nick Niedert. Nick Senzel. Dylan Bundy. Mitch Haniger. John Gray. Chadwick. Trump is that rookie. There's a card with Mike Trout on it, elbows only, but no Mike Trout, Max Scherzer, and the Los Angeles Dodgers. So that was what the cellos are like. Um, I'm actually going to open the hanger box last. Um, I know I've said it before, but um, I personally think the hanger boxes are the best um, value. You get of of pretty much any product, you tend to get more. Um, you tend to get more insert cards. I mean, they have sixty seven cards. Um, for these were eleven ninety eight. Um, these have. Um, it doesn't say how many off the top. Um, there are the odds right there. So obviously getting anything out of blasters is uh is is pretty tough. Uh up there we go. Seven 14 card packs plus one 70th anniversary patch card for 99 total cards per box. Personally, I I mean again, I'd rather buy the hangers. I just bought this to share with you guys. Um and it also comes with a uh a coupon thing and as I did last year um, before the hobby went insane I will do the coupon series again where I try to use all of these so I will definitely be attempting to use those in the coupon series for tops um, so let's get started we'll just open this um, they call it a patch card. It's a manufactured patch card. Um, I think you can get numbered ones, but um, I've never been so fortunate. And we did get lucky. We got a Derek Jeter, so that's not a, a bad one. But, I mean, that's like a rubbery thing. That's kind of weird. So, patch card out of the way. So, let's go with the packs. Again, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Mike Trout's in this set. Would love to get him or a, at this point, I would love to get a Pittsburgh Pirate. Uh, Luis Patino, rookie. 
Brett Gardner, Austin Meadows. Oh, that's cool. So got a home run challenge, Nolan Arenado, uh, even though he's with the Cardinals. So that's pretty cool. I've never, I do not do well on those. I have never once um, predicted correctly on that. Ronald Acuna, Freddie Galvis, Justin Dunn, Future Stars, and a Monte Harrison rookie. So pack number two. Brandon Drury. Looks like we have one of those Royal Blues coming up. Mookie Betts, Seth Lugo, uh, Juan Soto. So we will once again shout out Wesker Griff, who is a pretty big Juan Soto believer. I mean, he's had some really good years. I mean, last year he led the league 351. Uh, that's a nice King Griffey Jr. insert there. Another Juan Soto. This is just Wesker Griff's video. Um, so two really nice rookies back-to-back -back here. So we got a Joey Bart rookie. And then right behind him, I'm going to, as far as I've seen, I'm assuming this guy is going to be the big rookie, maybe. Dylan Carlson. That's definitely a nice one to get. Dylan Carlson rookie. And then... Uh, Brandon Bilak or Bilak and Michael Lorenzen. So that was definitely a good pack uh, for sure. Some nice rookies, nice inserts. These cards do look pretty nice. Um, again, I just the only complaint I have is that uh, is that um, nameplate being small. So Corey Seager. So we do have a backwards card in here. So I'll leave that that way. And Cody Bellinger is the uh, chrome there with Joe Adele, another nice rookie. Tim Anderson, save the backwards card for last. Brian Godwin and Trevor Bauer. I'll be right back.